this place is starting to get busy, busy as folks are starting to stroll in. You can see coming out of the offices and heading downtown, 10 city blocks full of art. The band is playing over here. And look over here, we have Habitat for Humanity actually building a home. And what are they doing here? Well, that, of course, is the art of construction and the art of the community coming together. And with me right now is Liz Edelman back again this year. And uh, tell us what we have new this year, Liz. Hi, Cynthia. Uh, it's great to be back at the Des Moines Arts Festival. We've got a lot of new things, a lot of interactive arts opportunities for kids, families. We have a creative family zone with over 38 activities for kids to do, spin art, make a toy for your pet. We have the partnership with the Metro Arts Alliance where you can actually participate in a large public art installation that will go on later. That will be installed later at the Des Moines International Airport. We've got music, we've got beer, we've got wine, we've got great Lots weather, we've got amazing here. weather, we're so happy the sun's shining, we've got, we got tons of stuff. Something for everybody. And it's a great place to bring home some art. Uh, by great artists all over the country. Amazing artists. We have 195 artists in 12 different mediums that represent 36 different states and Canada this year. 60% of those artists are new to Des Moines this year. Okay, thank you so much, Liz. We also want to remind you that if you're driving downtown, there are a lot of roads closed around the area here near Grand and Locust, of course, Fleur is still closed due to flooding. So be aware of that as you're coming down to the Arts Fest, but don't let that deter you. There are plenty of places to park, and we hope to see you down here. It's open until 11 o'clock tonight. Stephen Stacy.